Okay, so, in lieu of, uh, YouTube for some reason taking away my, um, my long lengthy video privileges for a while, I don't know why, it just kind of did, it still says I can, but I can't upload anything very long anymore, longer than 15 minutes, um, I can't upload two hours of footage of, uh, Red Faction Guerrilla for whenever that, that uploads, um, whenever I can do that again. I, if I can't ever again, then I'll probably just break it up into 15-minute bits. But, uh, anyway, I, uh, I wrote a story for you. It's, uh, yeah. <clears throat> the sky burned bright red as the sun fell from the sky. Not unlike how... how I always get stuck at this. I'll start over. It's reading a possum. Possum. <clears throat> the sky burned bright red as the sun fell from the sky. Not unlike how an opossum, or possum falls from the eucalyptus tree. My grandson had once told me that koala bears sit in the eucalyptus tree as opposed to the possum, but I didn't believe him, as he was known as the town's teller of tall tales. The other day, however, my other grandson, whom I actually care about, asked me to share my wisdom, and with nothing better to do as the, as the episode of Law and Order that was showing was a rerun, I obliged. What skill has served you the best as your life has passed, grandfather, he asked, as the skulls of our enemies burned bright in the fire pit. I was not hesitant in this answer. I knew quite well what had brought me through my life. Finger painting, I replied. My grandson gave me a puzzled look. A look of ignorance to man's single most important occupation. I slapped him in the face with the back of my hand, a feeling he was quite used to now, and he seemed to enjoy it. It served me in the end days, I told him. He would asked me many times about the end days, but I refused to tell him until this point. He must know, I thought. It's only fitting that he know how to defend himself, lest they should return, I mumbled. It was not quiet enough. They, he asked curiously, skeletons, I replied. They were a legend for many a year. White monsters that popped out of closets, often used as a cautionary tale to get children to stay away from their father's collections of pornography. Thank God they're not real, we had always thought to ourselves. My grandson was now closer, listening intently to the story as I hit him again for good measure. But they, w but they were, I said. They chose not to reveal themselves until the Closet Act of 2056 was passed, turning all buildings into large closets to save on the cost of space and to reduce the debt we had with Germany. What's Germany, my grandson asked as I hit him again, this time with the discarded lower half of a pool cue. It didn't matter now. It doesn't matter now, I said to him. What matters is your finger-painting prowess. It is your only defense against the skeletal arts. Man looked everywhere for some solution to the skeleton menace, but their Achilles heel was only found as the war had ended. It was no longer a war, however, it was now an eternal hunt, they, the prey now man. I doused the fire and quickly painted a picture of a horse on the doorway as the millions of dark eye-holes gazed upon our campsite from the burnt forests. The End